Okay folks, so in this video I'm going to go ahead and put the Mariah 54 fins on. These, uh, this is perhaps my favorite part to do. Uh, the fins is the one thing I already want on the rocket itself. And, and I'm going to make this video separate from the fillets uh, as well. So your kit is always going to come with the fin alignment guide which you will use. Uh, as you can see I've already cut it out. And I, I found some cardboard outside, I'm guessing it was my grandfather's, and I used it to cut out the, the marking lines to make sure I get perfect alignment. And, and if not, if you can't find anything to hold the fins with, uh, somehow I don't know why I, I was able to do this, uh, get my fins on on the last Mariah that I had. Um, they stayed on there real neat, and they will, they will be on there pretty good. So. That's all you will need, and then you will need JB Weld guys. This, these things are like five dollars at any store. Uh, this is the industrial size ones. I got it from my teacher. He had he bought like ten boxes of this for his uh, his class, and so I asked him if I could borrow one. So and then the last thing we need is CA. Let me get it. I forgot about it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I have the CA. You will need CA to uh, hold the fins on as while the JB weld is drying. But I recommend keeping the alignment on for uh, until the three-hour set time, which takes for that time, and then you can go ahead and remove it and always keep it upright. So let's go ahead and get to gluing the fins on. So uh, I marked my fins because they were. Uh, they were matching perfectly to the to the uh, the way they were attached. So let's go ahead and mix up some JB Weld real fast here. Okay, so I guess I did play, uh, make plenty. So let's go ahead and apply it to. Oops, wrong fan. Sorry, I forgot. So I'm going with the middle one first because this is the main one that's. Uh, Give me my straight alignment uh, guide. So go ahead and apply some nice JB weld there uh, to the root, keeping it away from the uh, <clears throat> the edges. And one of the things I did is uh, I got my my hobby knife and I uh, scratched the da uh, the dado slot or however you say it um, to allow more of a grip on this and I recommend doing it because it will most definitely uh, allow your fence to stay stuck on onto the uh, onto the slot <clears throat> go ahead and just put a nice bead of JB weld on your fin so th this is gonna take me a while I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the video uh, and then just uh, just display the the rest of the instructions afterwards so go ahead and tack your fin down in there go ahead and press it firmly you want it to to stick on there and then go ahead and and use the, the fin guide okay, so for some reason the fins not not cooperating with me too now <clears throat> okay there we go and the fin guide will keep my fin in place while hardens in there nice and good. So just align it to how you see it, how it would be aligned, and then just keep it like that. So I have some excess here, epoxy. I'm just going to go ahead and rub it with my finger and just uh, create like a small little fillet there for it. It'll later be covered with bigger fillets. Go ahead. And then, folks, what we're going to go ahead and do 
is using the, the thick CA uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply a small bead here to the, the ending Looks like it's clogged again. Be careful folks, this, this stuff does clog, so always have it ready. Just apply a nice bead there at the end. And again, make sure you have it aligned to how you would see it aligned and then the other fins will be aligned perfectly as well. Uh, like I said, I was able to do this last time somehow uh, without even using a cardboard. The fin was just on there pretty nicely. So I'll go ahead and do that and, and let me just fast forward through the videos. Okay folks, so uh, there it is. Uh, all fins are attached and uh, again, like I said before, leave the Fin, mat, uh, fin guide on until this has dried so that way you can have no issues when you move this thing around and thanks for watching